Hello and welcome. Last class of the Empower series and I've entitled it Masked. Um, if everything works in um, this miraculous power of five that Shiva has re um, holding creation and sustainment and then dissolution and then concealment and revealment. I think most of the time, most humans live in that masked place where we forget that the divine is hiding in plain sight. And um, I do believe it's one of the reasons we love dressing up for Halloween so much, some of us, because we get to uh, allow a different aspect of ourself to come out and to play. And if you think of the divine, just like that, um, putting on a costume, basically like saying, yes, I want to experience life as Tiffany or as Jen or as Fiona, the dog, or, you know, whatever it is, your, um, the disguise would be, if you really looked inside, um, it's just love. And so to feel that sense of love for ourselves is often where we have the biggest mask to um, deal with, to really look at who we are and say, thank you, <laughs> um, you're beautiful. So we're gonna take a practice where cat and cow have disguised themselves into inner spiral and outer spiral and see how that unfolds into a pose that will eventually ask us to inner spiral and outer spiral both the legs and the arms and you can come to all fours on your mat oh hello everybody welcome in all right, so you know what you'll need for your practice today, and if you don't have a strap, you're going to have to um, skedaddle over to your closet and grab a bathrobe tie. And right here, we're going to take the left hand over to the right hand, walk the right hand a little wider, and then stretch your hips almost all the way back, but not quite. So we have a cow tilt in your hips where the sit bones express back and wide and a cow tilt in the upper back. So look forward and up, press down through your palms, look forward and up like a cow and then pull the belly and the heart forward and round your chin to your chest and a sideways cat. And inhale, lift the gaze, reach the hips back. And exhale, round it forward, chin to chest, tailbone towards the backs of your knees. And as you press the hips back and wide, we call this inner spiral where the thighs turn in, the sit bones expand out, the chest reveals itself. And then we go into cat where we occlude the heart to the outer world, but it's still here, never went anywhere. And one more time, reveal it, look forward, look up. And this time, as you come up, crisscross right hand under left, walk it over to the left side of your sticky mat. If you need to stagger your knees to make this whole thing feel better for you, please do. And as you reach your hips back on the diagonal, lift your heart, look up. And then keep the armpits lofty as you round forward and in, cat. And back and wide, cow. And when you sync up your breath with your cat and your cow, you're remembering that the divine is hiding within. And you're choosing to step into its flow. Mm. Come all the way up, crisscross left hand, and then come to regular cat cow shape. Open up the heart, look forward, and round it in and back. Take your hips all the way to your heels, 
and then pull the hands down and back. Bend your elbows and try to slide your chest forward and keep your buttocks up. Elbows are really wide. And then pull the heart forward and through. Yeah, now round it up like a cat and all the way back, hips to heels. Press the hands down, pull the elbows wide and slide the heart and the ribs forward and up. So we could call this a version of chakra vakasana, the wheel where you're cycling yourself through cow and cat in pretty dynamic flair. And we're strengthening upper back, creating mobility in the spine. Uh, turn your hands slightly outward. Keep your hands, inner edge of the hands really heavy. Yeah, there we go. And one more. And that will oddly just build some heat. <laughs> Lift up and back, downward dog. Mm. Pedal out, dog. Receive your breath. And even in the yoga practice, we've named the poses. We've disguised them by giving them names and attaching ourselves to the name. Downward facing dog can now morph. And it's more of that cow tilt shape. So we'll take it to a forward fold, which is more of a cat tilt shape. Rounding forward and down, standing forward fold. And even in the standing forward fold, do try to keep the upper thighs moving back and wide. And then you've got to draw your tailbone down. Lengthen your side bodies. Yeah. Hands to your hips. As you lift your elbows up to the ceiling, think cow tilt, pull the hips back and the heart way forward. Uh, now lift your elbows even more, even more, even more, and then rise up. Interlace your hands behind. If that's too much, grab your strap and you'll hold your strap. So you've got some space here space to lift your triceps and your elbows, keeping your elbows bent. So big cow tilt in the upper back. As you take chair pose, try to pull the buttocks flush down like a cat. Deep breath in, full breath out. And as you're ready, we'll barrel roll to the right, left shoulder, left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder, right knee. Press your throat back, ears back. More of a cow tilt, upper body. Inhale, square. Fingers to the earth. Pull the legs to straight, thighs back and wide. <laughs> Bow into your heart. Inhale, side bodies low. Plant both hands equally weighted and step to a plank. Hmm. Bend the knees a lot. Drawing arm bones into shoulders, push the hips back. Deep knee bent. We've been calling this frog dog, so. Even Dower Dog gets a disguise. And knees deeply bent, deep, deep, deep connection to the upper back. And slow inhale, count of five to bring the knees down. Two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and cross the left knee behind the right knee. Widen your feet, point your toes, and now we'll take hips back until your right knee lifts up off the floor. Yeah, baby. 
Inhale, walk the hands forward. Keep the knee cross. Squeeze the knees together. Cow tilt. And then cat. And hips towards heels. Child's pose. Inhale forward. Cow. Exhale, cat. Hips to heels. Last one. Cow. Namaste. Thank you. So much love.